we have talked about group A. Now we are going to do some prediction on group B. In group B, we have Onyx Esports, three-time MPL ID champion, 2019 MSC champion, two-time back-to-back MPLI champion. Last year at M3, their run in M3 was short after losing to Blacklist International in the lower bracket, finishing 9th and 12th place. Next, we have Toda, four-time MPL MY Grand Finalist, MPL MY SG Champion, MPL MY Champion. Highest place finish in M Series is third place back in M1, and now they are back to the M Series for the fourth time. One of the team that have never missed the M Series. Next, we have Malvinas Gaming. Last year in M3, Malvinas secure M3 after winning the LATAM Championship, beating a team called Skull Cracker. Fast forward more than a year later, LATAM have their own league now called. MLSL Malvinas Gaming finished second place in the first season, just enough for them to secure the M4 World Championship. And they also finished second place in Liga Latam season 2. Lastly, we have MDH Esports from Vietnam. This is their first time in M series, but not their first world championship. MDH Esports did represent Vietnam at ISF Bali recently. They did all right. They finished fifth and sixth place. They were the team that ended a game in six minutes against Namibia. So they have some experience going to the M4 World Championship. They managed to secure M4 by winning and beating Idanus Esports in Mekong qualifiers. Now for the prediction, I put up a poll who will finish first place in Group B. 2.4 thousand people voted on that poll and the result is 86% voted on Esports, 10% voted Toda. 3% to Malvinas Gaming and 2% voted MDH Esports. Quite a one-sided poll. Most of you guys believe only Esports will finish first place in groups this time. Well, back in M3, only Esports failed to finish first place. They finished fourth place in Group B. And then after M3, they finished second place in MPL ID Season 9, Secure MSC 2022. And again, lose in the group stage fail to qualify to the knockout stage they lost to falcon esports 2 to 0 and draw to toda now in m4 world championship they are in the same group with toda can they break the curse they did change their roster up they bring filipino imports kairi and coach yap last time kairi and coach yap did finish first place in group b in m3 and also finished second place overall in M3. Kairi did say he is very excited to meet Toda in M4 and wanted to get revenge because Sony Esports lose to Toda in M3 and in MSC. Look, I am actually looking forward in the match uh, versus Toda because I think there's been already two international tournaments that Sony Esports lose to Toda. <laughs> That's why I'm very excited to uh, get revenge for them. <laughs> so maybe Kyrie will break on Esports group stage curse. Well, what about Toda? How can Toda beat on Esports for the third time? Well, for the past international tournament, Toda have been improving a bit. In M3, Toda managed to go all the way finish 5th and 6th place. Toda reverse sweep, see you soon, they reverse sweep Navi and then in C games they had a close battle with the Philippines but still they finish 4th place, lose to Singapore. MSC 2022, they managed to make it out of the group of death beating Onik and then in the knockout stage they beat Omega Esports 2-1 to one. and then after that they lose to Arakehoshi and lose to Falcon Esports. So, 5th and 6th place in MSC 2022. And then in MPLI 2022, amazing for Toda going all the way to the semi-finals, lost to Oni Esports, so they finish 3rd and 4th place. In ISF Bali, they finish 4th place after losing to the Philippines 2-0. So they are closer and closer to be the super strong team to get to the grand finals. Plus, Toda love to play weird picks. Last time we saw Lunox Jungle in M3 and then we saw Ruby Jungle in ISF, Franco Jungle that didn't go too well. 
Toda just need the perfect timing like in M3 Toda won against Onik because of a backdoor play is wide open oh. and that's where Paquito's going look at it Yip he's trying to go and defend the base but it's gonna be Boots caught out of the bad situation they're forced to back away for Maze with the back door Immortality has been popped will he be able to end the game one oh. more hit and Malaysia oh. they must be reported. going to go to the upper bracket luck of thief in the night in MSC Toda managed to make a big comeback after Yum's amazing ulti that kick out Onik out of MSC. Needs a perfect crossbow of tank. Oh, Keyboy oh. finds a money oh. on for the three man fatal link! Gets oh. them! And now Dozak trying to press on their DC W goes down! Yum's trying to chase down Keyboy in the middle lane! We'll get this kill here! So that fine! Single move! So So Toda just need to do that, wait for Onyx Esports to make a mistake and capitalize on it. For Malvinas, I think they have a chance to beat Toda. They just need to outdraft and outplay them. For MDH Esports, they have met Toda. They have some experience in the ISF. So they just need to fix what they did wrong in the ISF and put on the work in M M4 World Championship and try to finish second place. It's enough for upper bracket, so yeah. The damage output came from him alone. Right now for Bren Esports, they have this insurance policy. They have Rebo and the Harris, and both of them will have to carry the damage of this team. Not to mention, Few just purchased the Necklace of Durant, and that's going to be very, very helpful, especially against Ruby DD as well as D. And uh, let's see how this fight is. It's about to occur. They want to look for that big engagement. Here we go, Lord, at about a sixth of his health. That's going to be a reset. Flapizi already pops here. The Poissons rolling out. And it seems what? like Ruby DD is going to be the first target. Oh, he goes for the swing, goes for the wild charge. And misses. That's a nice free pickoff for Bren E Sports. Nothing for Burmese goals to take here. Hold up. They jump in. Oh. Nice pull out the Lusty. He goes down. Kid gets the kill. And they are going to be backing off one for one. Blazing oh. Duet. Blazing Duet by Kyle Deezy. Alongside his Alvin Force to keep them pinned down. That's going to be a double. Down goes Ace. Down goes Baby. D as well. Kid is the only survivor in this onslaught. Ladies and gentlemen, Bren E Sports have gone four for one. Let's go, Bren E Sports. They see the King's Kong, it's gone. They run straight down and force the engagement onto the Burmese goals. And now will profit the Lord as well Kid. as a mid tier. Uh, oh my goodness, they should be able to get this. No, can they get this? Yes, oh, they got the oh, as well. Oh. The King's calling and? really worked their way, but look at Carl DZ trying oh, to go for Kid. He takes down Kid. No. Kid just falls right in front of his base. And so far, Brandy Sports are not acknowledging any of Burmese Ghouls' efforts to protect themselves. So far, I think the Burmese Ghouls, they are trying here to just bait Brandy Sports. Again, nice pulls by maybe so far, but I think Brandy Sports knows that as soon as the pull happens, they leave who's gonna die and then just disengage and then come back around. This is the whole rope of Burmese Ghouls I've been using all series long. Mm -hmm. And not to mention that this is the first time we're actually seeing the Burmese Ghouls starting to really sweat against Bren. They're making some really unnatural mistakes, like similar to game one, but with Lord marching on through, they can't afford to lose their members. They have to break this Lord and they have to be able to protect themselves. But Bren, they want to force the situation. They're gonna be starting with the inhibitor down on bot side. Few taking a little bit of damage, but D wants to go even a little bit further. He's trying to get a few. He's trying to execute you, but instead he gets kicked on backwards from TZ now trapped all by himself in the King's Calling. Rebo gets pulled on in. He's trying to get on out of there. Maybe flickers forward, but now oh. this is where they turn oh. the tides here. But Esports, they're looking Oh at my this. goodness! This is it! Kid is the only one left. Can he defend? Ladies and gentlemen, Brad Esports are your M2 champions! From the lower bracket, they crawled out. Bren Esports are your M2 World Champions! With one perfect team fight, this is it. We're gonna pass it to our host to celebrate our winners itself. And well, this will be the end of our match. But now it's time for Bren Esports 
to go and claim what is rightfully theirs. The this pro is hits out. Thank you so much from the casters. This is us signing off.